On the night of October 1, 2024, at precisely 8 p.m. Iran time, the Middle East witnessed one of the most significant and devastating missile strikes in modern history. Iran launched 200 ballistic missiles, targeting key military and intelligence sites across Israel. This unprecedented missile barrage, dubbed Operation True Promise 2, shook the foundations of Israel's military and strategic defenses. But why did Iran launch this strike? What advanced missile technology did it use? And how did these missiles bypass Israel's famous multi-layered air defense systems? Let's dive deep into this historic event. To understand the magnitude of this strike, we need to examine the events leading up to it. Iran's attack was a direct response to a series of Israeli military actions that Tehran viewed as provocations. The assassinations of Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh, Hezbollah leader Syed Hassan Nasrallah, and Iranian commander Abbas Nilfarushan were seen as crossing the line. These leaders were pivotal figures in the ongoing resistance against Israeli policies, and their assassinations triggered outrage across Iran and the broader Middle East. These assassinations, coupled with Israel's ongoing military operations in Gaza and Lebanon, became the catalyst for Iran's decision to strike. For years, Israel has conducted airstrikes in Gaza, Lebanon, and Syria, often targeting Iran-backed militias and leaders. But the recent assassinations of these high-profile figures intensified the situation. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, declared this missile strike a legitimate response under international law, specifically citing Article 51 of the UN Charter, which grants nations the right to self-defense. According to Iranian officials, Israel's continued military actions, particularly in Gaza and Lebanon, had reached a point where retaliation was inevitable. For Iran, this missile strike wasn't just about avenging the deaths of its allies. It was about sending a clear message to Israel. Israel's continuous bombardments of Gaza and Lebanon, along with its covert operations targeting Iranian and resistance leaders, would no longer be tolerated without a forceful response. Stop the aggression or face the consequences. But this was no ordinary missile barrage. Iran deployed some of its most advanced and powerful ballistic missiles in this attack, showcasing the sophistication of its arsenal. Among the missiles launched were Cotter, a liquid-fueled missile with a range of up to 2,000 kilometers and a warhead capable of delivering up to 700 kilograms of explosives. The Cotter missile is part of Iran's evolving Shahab family known for its significant improvements in accuracy and range. Amod, An advanced version of the Cotter missile with improved guidance systems. Amod is capable of striking targets with pinpoint accuracy within a 1,700 kilometers range. Its key feature is the maneuverable warhead, allowing it to evade interception and adjust its flight path during the terminal phase. Kybershaken a solid-fuel missile with a range of 1,800 kilometers. It has been used in multiple operations, including this one, and capable of rapid deployment and featuring a warhead that can evade anti-missile systems. Fata-1 hypersonic missile, the true game-changer in this operation. The Fata, unveiled in 2023, represents a leap in Iran's missile technology, is a hypersonic missile with a top speed of Mach 13 over 13 times the speed of sound. Its unique design allows it to change course mid-flight, making it almost impossible for conventional missile defense systems to intercept. The key to the success of these missiles lies in their speed, maneuverability, and ability to evade advanced air defense systems. The FATA missile, in particular, can reach its target in under 10 minutes, traveling at such high speeds that Israeli interceptors had little time to react. Unlike conventional ballistic missiles, which follow predictable flight paths, the Fatah's ability to maneuver at extreme speeds in its final approach rendered Israel's interceptors ineffective. Israel's defense systems are considered some of the most advanced in the world. The Iron Dome protects against short-range rockets, David's sling intercepts medium-range threats, and the Arrow 3 system is designed to counter long-range ballistic missiles. However, during Operation True Promise the Two, Iran's missiles overwhelmed this multi-layered defense. The Fatah missiles, with their extreme speed and ability to maneuver during the final phase of flight, bypassed these defense layers. 
Israeli interceptors, which predict a missile's trajectory and fire ahead of it, were unable to track the Fatah's unpredictable path. The result? A devastating series of direct hits. Reports indicate that Iranian forces also used cyber warfare to disrupt Israel's defense networks, rendering some of their missile defenses ineffective at crucial moments. This combination of hypersonic technology and cyber operations allowed Iran to strike Israel's military and intelligence targets with devastating accuracy. Iran's missiles targeted key military and strategic sites across Israel. The operation's primary targets included 1. The Mossad headquarters in Tel Aviv, which serves as the epicenter of Israeli intelligence operations. 2. Tel Nof Air Base, located just five kilometers from Rakhut, Israel's oldest and most important air force base. 3. Nevatim Air Base, Israel's largest air base and the home of its F-35 stealth fighter fleet. This base took a direct hit from at least 23 missiles, causing significant damage to the runways, aircraft shelters, and fuel depots. 4. Hatzerim Air Base, another key air force facility, home to Israel's F-15 fleet and involved in previous operations against Iran and Hezbollah. Satellite imagery and ground reports confirmed the extensive damage inflicted on these military installations. IRGC reports claimed that 90% of the missiles successfully hit their targets, including multiple direct hits on critical infrastructure. This level of precision marked a significant achievement for Iran's missile forces. For Iran, Operation True Promise 2 was not just about retaliation, it was a statement of military prowess. The successful use of hypersonic missiles in a real combat scenario demonstrated Iran's growing capabilities and sent a message to the world about its ability to strike deep into enemy territory with precision. Iran's ability to strike deep into Israel's territory and cause significant damage to its military infrastructure shattered the myth of Israel's invincible air defense. This operation showcased Iran's technical advancements, particularly in the field of hypersonic missile technology. Iran is now one of only a few nations with operational hypersonic missiles, solidifying its position as a dominant military power in the region. The strike has also bolstered Iran's deterrence capabilities, warning its enemies that any future acts of aggression will be met with overwhelming force. This also sent a clear message to Israel's allies, particularly the United States. Iran was no longer just a regional power. It had proven it could retaliate effectively against any aggression. For Israel, the consequences were immediate and severe. Key military infrastructure was damaged, and the psychological impact on the Israeli public was palpable, with thousands of residents forced into shelters. They, accustomed to the protection of the Iron Dome, found themselves vulnerable as air raid sirens blared across the country. The breach of Israel's famed air defense systems has raised questions about its vulnerability to future attacks. The strike exposed gaps in Israel's defenses, undermining the perception that its airspace is impenetrable. On the global stage, the attack has shifted the balance of power in the Middle East. It sent a clear signal to Israel, its allies, and the world. Iran's missile technology has reached a level where even the most advanced defenses are not foolproof. This operation demonstrated Iran's ability to retaliate against Israeli and Western aggression, reshaping the strategic landscape in the region. Israel now faces a critical decision, how to respond to this unprecedented attack. Retaliation could lead to further escalation. Meanwhile, Iran has made it clear that if Israel strikes back, even more devastating attacks could follow. Iran's response could potentially target Israel's economic infrastructure. The events of October 1, 2024, mark a significant turning point in the Israel-Iran conflict. Iran's missile strike not only showcased its advanced military capabilities, but also exposed vulnerabilities in Israel's defenses. As the situation continues to develop, one thing is certain. The region and the world will never be the same. Thank you for watching. For more in-depth analyses of global military events, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more updates on this evolving situation. Oh,